<laughs> okay, so there's a bunch of, as a lot of guys like to call, word salad. Gobbledygook. Gobbledygook is it the is. word I like it to is. use. Gobbledygook. Gobbledygook. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly what he's saying at times, mm -hmm. but we could go back and break down. They used three timeouts all in the fourth quarter. One was on the, right before they threw the bomb, right before Peters jumped mm -hmm. on fourth and six. six, made it fourth and 11. Then they took the shot down the field. They got the touchdown. They took one there. They took one at the two-point conversion. Mm -hmm. And then they took one before Montgomery ran right into the right side of the line when it looked like all the blocking was set to the mm -hmm. left side of the line. Again, I'm not coming down on David Montgomery. No, He's well, a good football player. He, he, he did run to the wrong hole on that, on that one play. But right. um, just a lot of questions that Coach Nagy doesn't seem to have answers to because uh, the organization is not right on the sideline. I, I know your headset goes out, and we've all seen the headset go out, but mm. I would imagine if you do football for a living and you're head coach, you have a plan for when the headset goes out. And the plan probably isn't running and screaming and grabbing somebody and pulling them to you. And then I would imagine that you know already if we do score this touchdown, we're probably going to go for two to try to get to six points. Right? Right. I think that's why the media is rightly asking him all the questions about those timeouts. Mm -hmm. The one I didn't understand is, okay, he said Justin has a rib injury. Mm -hmm. I don't know the extent of it. Was it one play? Is it cumulative? I don't know the answer. Will he start Thursday if he's healthy? Why is that a difficult question to answer? I don't know if he's healthy, but if he's healthy, he's our quarterback. Mm -hmm. it, seems like the, it seems like the easy thing to say. Mm -hmm. Right. It's probably why he's not saying it. And then you heard Rick Predi Tellender, I believe person. it was, in the background from the Sun-Times say, Maybe it's time to put him on the bench. You've seen enough and let him. Again, I'm not going to touch it. How about looking right in the camera and go, he's our GD quarterback. He's mm -hmm. the guy that starts. If he's healthy, he plays. If he can't, Andy plays. He's our, good, clear? He's our good quarterback. Mm -hmm. GD. Game day. Yep. Game day game quarterback. Day. Game, day. Game, game day. day. He's our game, game day. day quarterback. <laughs> good day. A good day quarterback. I, I just don't understand why he complicates this stuff. He complicates situations mm -hmm. that don't need to be complicated. He's trying to help out your radio show. He said, you know, Cap, Cap needs something to talk about <laughs> in the morning. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> so let me help him out. I but, got but you're you. right, because it's simple to say Justin Fields is our starting quarterback. Justin Fields is the leader of this team. And if Justin Fields is healthy, there's no doubt. He's on the field. Andy Dalton did throw. I know that Coach Nagy came on and said that he thought he did great and he credited Andy Dalton. Uh, he did throw a good two-yard pass to Mooney, which Mooney ran 60 yards. Right. Uh, Absolutely. Did throw, did beat Martindale's blitz. I think that's why you saw Harbaugh on the sideline after the score talking to Martindale about, look, we're not going to go blitz zero again <laughs> against these guys. Make sure you have coverage out there. But um, Fields is the guy who needs to be on the field. Fields is your quarterback. Fields is the guy I would imagine the locker room wants to follow. They mm -hmm. want him healthy. Uh, it really does did suck to see him go out of the game with a rib injury because, yeah. again, want to see him late in the game, maybe get comfortable mm -hmm. again and take his team down the field to score. But uh, Andy Dalton did get two touchdowns out of it. But, again, the question should be, Coach Nagy, uh, why do you guys only have 13 points again? Mm -hmm. It's Correct. a simple question that, that needs to be answered for a while now. Right. And then we will hear, well, I've got to go back and watch the tape. Mm -hmm. and I don't know what the whys are mm -hmm. yet. And you've answered that very eloquently. <laughs> well, and they, they, they have a lot of injuries also on their defense, right? I mean, that, that cornerback who got beat is their fourth cornerback on the depth chart. And mm -hmm. that's why you go after him in that situation. Right? Goodwin goes after a guy who's sitting there and doesn't turn and run on a double move. But so there should have been more points out there. And really, that's the questions that I want to hear him answer. I know the timeouts are important, but I want to hear him talk about what they worked on in the bye week. What did you work on to find more points for your offense in the bye week was the questions that you want to hear him answer and him answer for. Mm -hmm. why, why aren't we getting 20 points on the field? I know the timeouts, like I said, are important, but I'd rather hear him talk about why your team again ends up with only 13 points. You can't he, answer that question. He pretty much told us right there yeah, that, 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 that two-point conversion wasn't anything new. What do you mean by that? That's what he said. I mean, you, you, you'll be pushing a guy, a man against a wall. You know, there's well, nowhere, like nowhere else for him to go. You ask a question like that because he doesn't have the answer. He doesn't know the why, you know, and, the, and you know, the why falls on him, to be honest with you. And, and he doesn't have any answers for getting his team more points. Mm -hmm. He's did, tried everything, I believe. Did you ever have one of your, whether it was Lovey or John Shoup or whoever was orchestrating the offense <clears throat> when you were struggling to score points, talk about it the way you just did? Guys, we have to score more points. Or, nah, that's kind of assumed. We just weren't very good at it. 
every year. Every year we talk about <laughs> scoring more points, you know, but, but, but you have to allocate the assets first and then find points. But my biggest problem with this, this offense, these guys right here, I'd have to go back and actually study all those years, like I say, these years. My biggest problem is when they do get in a position to score, they don't use the players, to me, that, that would do what they do best. Right, like when they finally got down there the first drive, they didn't get Justin Fields out of the pocket. We all seen him. Mm -hmm. When he rose to his left, he is dangerous. I like to see that down there on the go. I like to see you seal off the edge for him with a tight end, roll him out, have Mooney out there, have Cole Komet out there. You're dangerous, your weapons, and get them the ball down there in the end zone. And that's what my biggest question is, again, for them is, what is your design when you actually get a chance to score down in the red zone? What plays are you running? Why did you pick this play instead of this play? That was the play they ran against Pittsburgh with a minute and a half left when Justin hit Mooney for the touchdown. Well, he, was, mm -hmm. he, he, he broke out of the pocket, right? He, he extended that play. Correct. It was a scramble drill between him and Mooney. And threw but it was a not, it was not, yes. Yeah. But, but if I see my quarterback doing that, mm -hmm. I'm going to design a play like that. I want to say, yeah. you know what, I'm going to get him oh. out of the pocket somehow. And I'm going to get these two guys out here, and I'm going to let him read the field, and he can either run or throw it. You, you, have a, you, you know your offense isn't scoring many points. Mm -hmm. I would like to see him play that way. I would like to see him play towards your defense. Your defense was playing pretty good today, and I know we have different opinions. Even up here, we have different opinions. Mm -hmm. But on that, when you're up 7-6, mm -hmm. to six, you choose to go for it on fourth down. I'd like to see you pin them down. Inside the 10-yard right. line. In the, line. In the I would conference like to see where we were all, I said I would have gone for it. Mm. You would have gone for it, I think. I know you wouldn't. No, I want to go for it. No, I, I would have I punted it down because your defense was playing well and you right there. Punted. I would have punted it. I would have punted it. So I, I, if you're going to – you can't play like you're going to score a bunch of points. Like we, we saw Dalton come out, and he threw the ball first down. Second down, we ran the ball for, I think, 12 yards, and then we threw the ball three more times. Say, like, what, you don't like the 12-yard run play? Do no. you not like that? It, no. What's wrong with that play? We, we don't like, like I don't it. understand you it. Know, you know what I imagine? <laughs> we don't I, like it. I imagine that um, Dalton comes out and they take that play game plan they made and they're like, thank <laughs> yes. goodness. Finally. <laughs> Finally. Finally. This. And then they take out the book about this big with past that. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. Yeah. laughs> right. And then we're all laughing And then it, say, it says seven on seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Flag football. Yes. Like, man, if you, if you want to run this offense, I, it's not working. No, it, but it hasn't been. It hasn't been working. Yeah. So you got to put points on the board, and they're not doing that. Some of the best or coordinators I've ever been around, um, they always would ask questions. You know, they would ask questions. I'm a, I'm a freshman in college, you know, and Dwayne Keenan and Rich Ellerson, they'd ask Lance, do you like doing this? Do you like doing this? Or do you like moving in this position, this and that? Because if you don't like it, we'll change the defense. Like, we'll change things. We'll tweak here. We'll tweak there, you know. And um, it was, you know, I, I said, Coach, I don't care. I'm, just put me on the field. I'll just, just run and hit people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but when, uh, you know, Olin made this comment about, uh, uh, about Justin Fields scrambling, mm -hmm. you know, and a coach should look at that and be like, hey, do you like doing this? Was, you know, there's a question. He should ask Justin, what do you like doing? And we should tailor it Where based off of uh, that. Where is Dwayne Aquino from? He is from Hawaii. Mm. Good coach. Hawaii. There great you go. Mm, good coach. <laughs> They're a great coach. But it was the same thing when we had Mitch here. And, again, he wasn't a great player. But even he complained. I'm more comfortable when they roll me out. Well, and, and, and you know, to that point is just what, like I haven't heard yet, what were you guys working on in the bye week? Mm -hmm. What were you guys at. trying to get better at in the bye week? What did you think concepts worked for your offense? What did you think Justin Fields did well? What were you guys trying to improve on? Because you guys are averaging 16.7 points a game. You're the number 32 ranked offense in the league. Mm -hmm. How are you guys going to get better? Mm. And you never hear that. I, I, I haven't heard the answer to that yet. And it, they didn't. It's 13 points today versus a, a, a good Donnie Martindale. We know he, he causes rookie quarterbacks all kinds of problems. Very good defensive coordinator. But they had a lot of injuries. Their nose guard, Bradley Williams, is out, right? They, they have injuries all over their secondary. They're the number 32 ranked secondary in the league, giving up big plays. I thought we'd see some today.